Hi! In this video I'm going to introduce you to promotion and casting. Both promotion and casting convert a type of an argument or operant. Promotion is an implicit type conversion. The Java programming language converts one type to another without any indication from the programmer. Casting is an explicit type conversion. The programmer uses special syntax to indicate that a type conversion is requested. Let's have a look at promotion first. Double result 1 gets assigned 9.4 divided by 2. My forward slash is a binary operator indicating division. It has two operands. 9.4 is an operand of type double. 2 is an operand of type int. In Java, both operands of a binary operator need to have the same type. In our case, one operand is double, the other operand is of type int, so type conversion is needed. The Java programming language is going to convert that implicitly, it's going to use promotion. The integer 2 is going to be promoted to a double 2.0. Let's have a look at a table here. In the left column, you can see the primitive types, the size, and other types they can be promoted to. Boolean is all alone on the bottom. It's a true-false value, not a number, and it does not take part in promotion. It cannot be promoted to anything. Otherwise, I could take, for example, float. Float can be promoted to double. You can see double. Character can be promoted to int, long, float, double, int, long, float, double. You can take a type and promote it to other types that are listed higher up in this table. There is an exception, character. Nothing can be promoted to a character. Let's have a look at the order in which we listed the primitive types. So we have the floating point types on top bigger one first, then the whole number types, once again listed from big to small, and right in the middle wedged in char. Char has this unique position because char cannot represent any negative numbers. Just imagine if Java allowed promotion from a short to char. What is the character res responding to the short minus 3? Here I'm going to show you an alternative representation uh, for valid promotions, this time in form of a graph. If I take any type, let's say long, I can promote long to any other type where I can find a path along the arrows. So long can be promoted to double, long can be promoted to float. Integer can be promoted to float or long or double. Integer cannot be promoted to short. There is no error pointing to short. There is no path that I could take that leads me to short. Or character. As a matter of fact, nothing can be promoted to character. There is no incoming error. Nothing can be promoted to byte. All other six types can be promoted to double, but double itself cannot be promoted to anything else. Let's have a look at another example. This time it is your turn. Look at the statement below. Circle the operand that gets promoted and find out what is the value of result 2 after the statement has been executed. Give yourself a moment to think it through, pause the video and when you're ready press continue. The operand that gets promoted is the right hand operand of the assignment operator and the resulting value of my variable result 2 is 4.0. We start with the division because division has higher precedence than assignment. My division has two operands, both of them are type integer, which is fantastic, that's what Java needs. So with two integers, Java is going to use integer division. Integer division truncates. So 9 divided by 2 is 4. Now we look at the assignment. 
The Simon has a right hand operand of type int, which is 4, and a left hand operand of type double. This doesn't work, both operands need the same type. So Java is going to promote the right hand operand of the assignment operator from an int to a double. So 4 is converted to 4.0, which is the result at the end. Let's have a look at casting. Casting is frequently used in combination with inheritance and interfaces. Casting can also be used in combination with primitive types. For now, we are only looking at casting in combination with primitive types. To indicate a type conversion with casting, we use the following syntax, two parentheses and in between the type that you want to convert to. Let's have a look at an example. Let's say we have a variable called L of type long. My variable L has been initialized with 14L. The uppercase L indicates that this literal 14 is of type long. And I would like to assign my variable L to my new integer variable i. And if I try to do that, I would get a syntax error. This doesn't work because we have two different types, integer and long, and there's no promotion from a long to an integer. At this point you might wonder why can't we just cast the int to the long, but here we are assigning to an actual variable. The type of the variable is specified at a time of declaration, so in our case this is right here, we are declaring an integer i of type int. This cannot be changed with promotion or with casting. What can be changed is the type of the value that I am reading from the variable l. Notice the actual variable L still is of type long, but the value of type L that used to be a long value is now an integer value, and we are going to assign the integer value to the integer variable. In case of 14, this works great, and my i gets the value 14. Let's assume I assign a really big value, like 3 billion. 3 billion is bigger than the largest integer, it still compiles because the compiler does not check the actual value. It just knows that long can be cast to integers. But here's a big caveat. If we as programmers don't ensure that the value is in the actual appropriate range, we might get results like this, which has little resemblance to my original value. Let's have another look at this graph. Promotion provides me with implicit type conversion from a given type to any other type that can be reached by following along the arrows. A type conversion in the opposite direction of the arrows can be performed by casting. If I have a long, for example, I can cast it to an int or a short or a byte. If I have a character, it gets promoted to an int if I have an int and I want a character, I need to cast it to a character. Let's have a look at two more examples. Here I have a literal 3.7. This is a double literal. The method round returns a long for double. Here I'm getting my result of my rounded 3.7 as a type long. If I want to store that in an integer variable, I need to cast my result. Here I have an integer i, I'm assigning a plus 1. Once again we have promotion. I have a binary operator with a character and an integer. Character can be promoted to an integer. So my a is 65, 65 plus 1 is 66 and i receives the value 66. Let's say I want to have a new character and I want to assign the character based on the whole number 66 to my new character. This is possible, but I need a cast because I need to move in the opposite direction of my arrow from an integer to a character. So I'm casting my 66 to a character and it results in my character B.